Distributed Database System presented by Rupali Banerjee. Today we will learn distributed query optimization. We already learned there are different types of distributed query optimization algorithm like semi join algorithm, system R algorithm, system R star algorithm, ingress algorithm, hill climbing algorithm, SDT1 algorithm. Now we already learned semi join algorithm and system R algorithm in different video. Today we will learn system R star algorithm. The system R star query optimization algorithm is an extension of system R query optimization algorithm. So first learn that video, then you have to learn this video. Query optimization algorithm has some characteristics. Main characteristics are here only the whole relations can be distributed. That is fragmentation and replications are not allowed. Query compilation is a distributed task. It is coordinated by a master site where the query is initiated. So master site initiates query. Master site makes all inter site decision. Inter site decision means selection of the execution sites, join ordering, method of data transfer, etc. And the local sites do the intra query optimization means local optimization that is local joins, access paths, etc. Join ordering and data transfer between different sites are the most critical issues and it is considered by the master site. Two methods for inter site data transfer. See in the figure there are two sites, site 1 and site 2. Here the table is R, here the table is S. So first method is shape hole. Here the entire relation is shaped to the join site and stored in the temporary relation. See this table, our table is shaped to the join site. Say the join site is site 2 and stored in the temporary relation. So here larger data transfer. Why? Because whole table will be shipped. Smaller number of messages, only one message required. And better if the relations are small because whole table we want to shape so it is it will be better if the relation is small next one is fetch as needed here the external relation is sequentially scanned and for each tuple the join value is sent to the site of the inner relation and the matching inner tuples are sent back that is semi join see this is site 1 and this is site 2 I only fetch tuple, this tuple means attribute name is A and the tuple is 4, okay. Only fetch tuple and then here semi join operation is done and then again ship this to this site, site 1, okay. So here number of messages is the order of cardinality of outer relation and data transfer per message is minimal. It is better if relations are large, but the selectivity is good. Four main join strategies for R natural join S. There R is outer relation that is external relation and S is inner relation that is internal relation. And the notations are LT denotes local processing time, CT denotes communication time, and S denotes the average number of S tuples that match one tuple of a tuple. We will take examples, then this will be more clear for you. Strategy 1. Ship the entire outer relation to the site of the inner relation. That is, retrieve outer tuples, send them to the inner relation site and then join them as they arrive. So, the total cost formula is this. So, site 1 outer relation site and site to inner relation site. Now, how we can calculate the total cost? LT, retrieve card R, tuples from R. So, retrieve card R, tuples from R and this is local processing time cost. Next, CT, size R. So, I want to send this table to site 2. So, the cost is communication cost. So, CT size of R. Then LT retrieve S tuples from S. So, retrieve S tuples from S. So, we have to calculate local processing time. So, LT 
retrieve a staples from it. Now we have to join. In this way, we can calculate the total cost. This is strategy one. Strategy two, ship the entire inner relation to the site of the outer relation. We cannot join as they arrive. They need to be stored. That is the inner relation A's need to be stored in a temporary relation. And the total cost is this. How we can calculate the total cost? L tree, retrieve card A's tuple from S. So, retrieve card is tuple from S local processing time. Retrieve card is tuple from S. Then, CT sizes that is send it to the outer side. So, communication time cost is needed. So, CT sizes. Then, LT store card is tuples in T. So, this is local processing time. So, LT store card is tuples in T. Now, LT retrieve card R tuples from R. Local processing time retrieve card R tuples from R. Okay. Plus, LT retrieve S tuples from T. So, local processing time retrieve S tuples from T. Join with card R and we get the result. So, this is the total cost for strategy 2. Strategy 3, fetch tuples of the internal relation as needed for each tuple of the external relation. Means what? For each R tuple, the join attribute A, if the join attribute is A, only A is sent to the side of S. Then, smallest tuples of this capital S relation which match that value are retrieved and sent to the site of R to be joined as they arrive. So, the total cost is this. So, first LT retrieve card R tuples from R. So, local processing time retrieve card R tuples from R. Then CT length A into card R. So, only this attribute A. Okay. And then LT Retrieve S tuples from S into card R, local processing time. And then CT, S into length S into card R. So, here communication time need to calculate. So, the total cost is this for strategy 3. Strategy 4, move both relation to a third site and compute the join there. That is, the internal relation is first moved to a third site. That is, the inner relation A is first moved to a third site and stored in a temporary relation T. Then, the outer relation is moved to the third site and its tuples are joined as they arrive. So, the total cost is this. So, first LT retrieve card is tuples from S. So, this is local processing time. Chip card is tuple from S. Then CT sizes. So communication time CT sizes. Send it to the site 3. Okay. And so communication time need to calculate. Then LT store card is tuple in T. So store card is so local processing time need to calculate. Then LT retrieve card R tuples from R. So local processing time need to calculate. Then CT size R. So, send it to site 3. So, communication time need to calculate. Okay. Then LT retrieve A staples from T into card R. Retrieve A staples from T into card R. So, local processing time need to calculate and finally we get this result. So, the total cost needed for strategy 4 is this. Consider one real life example. Let us consider a query that consists of the join of relations PROJ, it is external relation, and ASG, it is internal relation on attribute PNO. We assume that PROJ and ASG are stored at two different sites and that there is an index on attribute PNO for relation ASG. 
The possible execution strategies for that query are as follows. 1. Ship whole PROJ to the site of ASC. 2. Ship whole ASC to site of PROJ. 3. Fetch ASD tuples as needed for each tuple of PROJ. 4. Move ASG and PROJ to a third site. Optimization algorithm predicts the total time of each strategy and selects the cheapest. If we apply strategy 4, what was strategy 4? Move ASG and PROJ to a third site. Obviously, it incurs the highest cost since both relations must be transferred to the third site. If we apply strategy 2, ship whole ASC to site of PROJ. We have to ship whole table to the site of PROJ. If size of PROJ is much larger than size of ASC, then strategy 2 minimizes the communication time and is likely to be the base if local processing time is not too high compared to strategies 1 and 3. So, what was strategies 1 and 3? 1 and 3. If strategy 2 is not the base, the choice is between strategies 1 and 3. Local processing cost in both of these alternatives are identical. In case of strategy 3, if PROJ is large and only a few tuples of ASG match, strategy 3 probably incurs the least communication time and is the base. And if we follow strategy 1, then if project is small or many tuples of ASC match, then strategy 1 should be the best one. Now see types of question comes in your university exam. For getting more and more updates, please, please like, share and subscribe my channel. That's all for today. Thank you.